Hello everyone, welcome to our very last Friday new product post at this building. Yes, that is right, this is the last time you will see this lovely studio. We're moving to a new building, so enjoy this while it lasts. So, first up, we've got a cable. This is a 40 pin ribbon cable for the Raspberry Pi B+. The Raspberry Pi went from a 26 to a 40 pin from the B to the B plus model. And this is a ribbon cable that works with that. As you can see, is a 20 by two ribbon cable that is oh so very flexible and has connectors on either end. So this is useful for connecting all your little widgets to your Raspberry Pi B plus. You can throw some um, double length headers in here, throw that into a breadboard or do whatever you want. Um, but we've got these guys in stock now. Next up, we've got some terminal strips. These are called by a lot of different names, um, barrier strips, terminal blocks, um, terminal strips. And what they are is these nice little strips of terminals and they're bussed this way. So, you know, this one's connected to that, this one's connected to that, whatever. And you have this little screw and you got a little nut and then you have the bus bar underneath of it. So you can use like a ring terminal, a fork terminal, or just bare wire, put that in there and it can go from this way to the other way. Um, they're used a lot in like automotive. They're also used a lot in automation equipment. Um, you can use jumpers to go this way to do like, let's say ground to where you can um, connect a lot of ground wires over here. They're useful for a lot of different things, but it helps you tidy up the wires. And we have them in the three different sizes. We have a three, a six, and a 12 connector. And they all have these nice little covers that go over the top. So you can bolt it down inside there and then press this little cover so you don't get electrocuted and die. Let's talk about these new primary displays for the Raspberry Pi from 40 Systems. Now, unlike the previous displays that 40 Systems released for the Raspberry Pi, these actually act as the primary display for the system, which means that anything that's happening on the Pi, whether you're in the shell or in the GUI, all of that is coming through on the display. It acts just like if you had a monitor connected to the Pi. Uh, these do come in two sizes. There's a 3.2 inch and a 3.5 inch, and the 3.5 inch is a slightly higher resolution. Uh, the smaller one is a QVGA resolution, and then the larger one is an HVGA resolution. Uh, they plug straight into the GPIO header on the Raspberry Pi, so hardware installation is easy, and software installation is not hard either. It's just a few lines of code in the shell. The screen just sits right on top of the Raspberry Pi and connects using the GPIO pins. And I'm gonna power this one using one of our mobile rechargeable uh, lithium polymer supplies. The other interesting thing about these screens is that they have a um, resistive touch screen on the front. So they actually work as the mouse and the monitor for your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, we've loaded up into uh, Raspbian, which is the Debian uh, flavor for Raspberry Pi. And I can actually just drag and select icons using my finger. I can uh, click on software applications and they'll open and run on the Pi, just like if I had a monitor connected and a mouse. Now there is a minor gotcha to the installation for these. Uh, the kernel module that they released to make these screens work as primary displays will only install on top of Raspbian. Um, so you have to be running Raspbian on your system in order for that kernel module to install. All that does is it gives the screen direct memory access, uh, which it needs in order to act as a display. Now, uh, I tried installing this on top of the Noobs uh, boot system, which was running Debian on top of it. Um, Noobs is what you would get if you ordered the preloaded SD card from Raspberry Pi or from us. And it's that boot utility that gives you the option to install a bunch of different operating systems and gives you recovery options and things like that. Unfortunately, um, because of some of the things that it installs underneath of Raspbian, uh, when you try to install their kernel module on top of that, it panics and it won't boot all the way into the system. So what you really need is a fresh install of Raspbian. It's fairly easy to do. You just download the disk image from the Raspberry Pi website, put it on an SD card, and then pop it into your Raspberry Pi, and you're ready to go. 
When you want to install the kernel module for the display, you just have to uh, wget the uh, file, and there is um, a file path for that that comes on a little sheet of paper in the box with the display. Once you've gotten that package, you just install it using dpackage just like you would any other Debian package.